Ah, uh, water elemental. There we go, the water elemental. I hate these guys. For some odd reason, when I went through my playthrough of this, they just hammered the hell out of my group all the time. Okay, so I got some funny notes about the water elementals. Oh, please go on. So, most things in here are water element. Yeah. The water elemental, which in the original was simply named water, <gasps> is in fact non-elemental. <laughs> really? It casts no spells. Excuse me, does it say it's weak to ice? And it's weak to ice, not lightning. Uh, I give up. Has 300 HP, 69 to 138 AP, 1962 experience, 800 G. Weak to ice, strong against cake, fire rub, bane, brack, stun slip. Was there a point of getting death spells after so long? Like everything. Is Couldn't find a better use for that? All right, floor two. Two F. Where are we? We're going down. Oh, we were already back on floor three. Crap. Yeah. Okay, so uh, where are we? We are there. There are no items on this floor. Your goal is in the upper right. Wow, this is a floor. Wait, upper right? Yep. Oh, right, because this is part of one thing. Got it. Yeah, just a whole lot of nothing on this floor. I mean, it's only half. Half of a half? Half the floor, yeah. Half of a half of a half. Wait. Yeah, we go up to go down. Yep, nothing here. Then you go up to four. There's a door there. I mean, take a look, but I don't think there's anything in that door. Son of a... Okay, and that takes you down there. There's one... There's two chests. I was wrong. Eleven ten. Um, one ten. Really? Yep. You just tacked a thousand onto it. Fourteen fifty. Four fifty. And that's all we're doing here. We're going back down. Two F. Okay, that takes you to. Wait, what? The two F. I think they reversed these. So we're probably... Okay, so your goal in here is actually the very, very top left. But there are a lot of items to collect along the way. Oh, yep, right there. It's not that much. There's like two down here, one over here. Yeah, there's something in pretty much every room. Is it death? Yes. Cool. 8135. 8135. Monsters. Really weak to ice. Yeah, weak to ice. Not classified as water. So if you had like the great water killing sword or something, you'd go, why? I don't know, I guess it explains why their ice brands were hitting hard. 7690. 7690. Oh my god, did you see the, the N64 stuff coming to the Switch online? I did not, but I'm excited for it. I saw that they opened up with Ocarina of Time. I was like, oh great, I'm going to play it for the 18th time. <laughs> <laughs> Stop me! It's like, oh boy, time to play Ocarina of Time again! Listen, they put Paper Mario... Oh, they're also going to... Eventually, they're gonna put uh, Kirby 64 on there, Ooh. and Banjo Kazooie. We can finally, we finally have no longer an excuse <laughs> to not do Banjo Kazooie. And I am utterly tempted to get that N64 controller when it comes out. But they're also doing Paper Mario, and it's like my wish came true three years later. <laughs> oh, so I saw a post somewhere about what would N64 styled Joy Cons look like. Just the Joy-Cons? Yeah, like if they made an N64 styled Joy-Cons. Well, obviously, like the the um the right Joy-Con would just be as it is now, but the left one would just have an extra little bump at the end there for the D-pad. So they had they had I saw pick I just 
a couple dumb pictures. And so one of them split the N64 controller down between the second and third stick. Yeah. And put the right one on the right-hand side and both of the other ones on the left-hand side. Yeah, that's exactly what I was... Someone else split it right down the middle so you had the middle <laughs> stick on either side. And then someone else cut both le- uh, both arms off, put them on either side, and then cut the middle one off horizontally and stuck it on the middle of the bottom. <laughs> that's how you really do it. You know, looking back, it's like... God, that 64 controller was weird. It's like, I, it worked for what it was, but it was definitely like one of those, like... I mean, We it, just worked better with this. Yeah, I mean, that's where... Trying to be innovative, like, nobody figured out how to do that stuff I, yet. I also love the fact that Nintendo is the one that goes like, what if we brought back the joystick and just put it on the controller and everyone else went like, we're doing that too, because like Sony, like the original PlayStation controller, just had a D-pad and face buttons and then they went like, we got a dual shock now. <laughs> oh, before we continue that little talk real quick, because we will, uh, apparently we just found out Frank went to the dark side. <gasps> da -da 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 Dang it. What makes it better is I just did the Dragon Quest curse sound, so... I will mix franchises up all I want. 5450. 5450, that is, um... 5450. Neat. Monsters. Well, that'll give me a second to find it. I found it. Turns out it wasn't monsters, it was just a potion. Pure reward, monsters. More XP for me. 1385. 385. I think the whole point that they put the ambush things in the ori not the ambush, the tiles in the original game was just for a grind spot, because apparently in the eye, in the ice cavern, in mm -hmm. the original NES one, you can just go like down a square and then back up a square and I keep attacking it because it would just always hmm. show up there. And it was apparently just a good place to grind off of if you needed to. Hmm. Monsters. Dang. Oh, that is a thing. Oh, that's new. You're not supposed to appear in this dungeon. None of you are. Um. Yeah, I don't know why the mummies are here, but the cockatrice is like... Can we just, like, cast nuke? I could if I had the money. I'd have to go back to the Lupian town to go get it, and I think we have the money for it, but it's also, like, already down here. Boy, this light axe is about to pop off on one mummy. That's what you get for liking Nintendo. <laughs> So one thing I don't think we've I've really had the chance to point out, but I love Edon's um, casting animation. I think it's their casting animation. Maybe it's their stabbing animation. Or their being ready, getting ready to stab animation. Giant gauntlets. Giant gloves. Uh, crap. Power gauntlet. You know what this one's good at? It casts Saber which is just basically take temper and haste and put it into one spell. A cast sword. Exactly. So basically, every for, from now on, when we get into a boss fight, Frank's going to be like, gauntlet, gauntlet. <laughs> <laughs> I win. Okay, still got a bunch more in here. Is it, is it the idle animation or the casting animation? The cast. The cast. I, it's not the actual cast, it's when they're waiting their turn to cast. Oh, okay. And oh, so, you know, the funny thing is, is a couple times I've actually done the uh, expert roulette, and on my paladin, I've had a white mage, black mage, and a ninja in my group, and that's usually the fastest I go through something, and I was <laughs> like, Final Fantasy was right, this is the best party to go through. <laughs> Alright, we're up in, like, this weird yeah. one here. Monsters. Put him up, put him up. That was the animation. It's the yeah, the, the, the white mage getting ready to punch. Yeah, the 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 uh, 
whatever those rules were for boxing, like the old, the, the old fisty cuffs. Yeah, the old fisty cuffs, where you put out your arms away from your body for some reason, despite the fact that it's like way better to like <laughs> keep them next to your body. It turns out getting punched in the face hurts. Another light axe. Light axe. For when you really want to cast daylight on and be undead. One room remains. I've just had enough of this dungeon. I, I kind of like it in here. It's very wet and everything, and I kind of like the wet. It's good for electricity. For electricity? Just let me lead the parties, guys. <laughs> That's the one thing I think I'm good at, is just coming up with a scenario and letting it play out. See, I found, when I was doing the writing for Tofu Topple, I was super hesitant to actually do any, like, character writing, even for the little interactions they were doing. But I eventually figured out, once I've got a handle on the character's personalities, it became way easier. Because I just sat down and I asked, which one of these two would say something first? Okay, this person is saying something first, and after that it's just let it flow. Yeah. And it does. It works wonderfully. 7340. That was... Am I looking at the right one? 2750. Why would they change that? What? Yeah, that's that one. 2750. I don't know why they changed that one awkwardly. All maybe right. They give you the, maybe they swapped it with that one. Might have. 2750. Yeah, 2750. Maybe okay, they swapped Okay, so they just swapped two. the thing. Or the guide's wrong. It's probably the guide's wrong. I mean, they put a giant upside down <laughs> in the player thing. Could you really trust it after that? Over 9,000. Same. A ribbon. A ribbon. Cool. We finally get one of Final Fantasy's more iconic items. A ribbon I, that guards against elemental attacks and status effects. I feel like it's lost some of its iconicness over the years, especially in the more recent games. I think the problem is, is that it's one of those, like, it started out strong and then other things had to come in to kind of, like, top it, and so it's been, like, a back and forth on... I also feel like just the general theme of the games has changed some, to the point that it just doesn't quite fit. Well, excuse me, but my paladin wears armor, not a speedo. Mine wears a maid dress. <laughs> but that's your brand. <laughs> my brand is actually wearing something that makes sense for the job. And bunny ears. I don't care what job I play. Okay, that's everything, so we can get out of here. It's in the upper left. Yep. Was it actually a ribbon in the original? Yep. Ribbon. Wow, it's always been in the games. That's cool. All right, okay, first floor, floor one. This is the final floor of the entire dungeon. <laughs> there are no items here. All you have to do is get to your destination. Oh god, Naka, is it this part that I need to get to? Sure is. It's actually that little bit up top. <laughs> there is nothing anywhere else. I can't tell. The map's more convoluted, so it's hard for me to wrap my head around what the fastest way of getting there is. Well, the fastest way you do it is you go up the staircases at Cornelia 64 times and it just takes you to the <laughs> final boss. I feel like you could have gone left and then up, like right there and then up. But you can also get there this way. And then I guess we have to go down and go in the building. You know what? I did my way. Whatever. I mean, we're getting there. It's like, it's you only, get, you only have one way to get to some place. And then I don't think there's anything we can do other than go in the big building. I think it's just the big building. Is it really? Yeah, I could've just... Wow, that is stupid. Admittedly, there were no maps in the NES one. So you just had to explore. You had to find that dead end for yourself. I guess also technically they could've had the path not open up in the NES version. 
It's hard to tell, because so, this map is really tiny and dark. But chances are it didn't. Because they did, they did open up some spots. Yeah, it may have been closed off. Again, I can't, I can't tell anything on this. I had beans last night, what of it? Just trying to... <laughs> I was thinking you just want to... Just trying real hard to give him some more HP. That too. I've got to go down I've the door. Go down that door. Maybe if I just cram this potion into you, it'll give you an extra couple HP. I just go back to the caravan, grab the max HP thing, throw it at you, or just watch it wear off. And we have arrived at the end. Got the orb right there. Oh, right. it's blue this time. You know what's gonna happen. We always know what's gonna happen. Let's just get it over with. I wanna touch it. Alright. You make sure everybody's all healed up. Heal that one HP. Oh yeah! Get those spell slots! <laughs> that don't really matter. Oh, he can cast up the level four spells. That's neat. Oh, the ninja can? Yeah. Wow, I thought he could only do up to three. Because I know the knight can only do up to three. Darn it, Hubert. So close. Uh, they were lobsters in the original. I know they were lobsters, but I don't think it's like, is there an actual thing called a sea scorpion in real life? I don't know. It's like, I'd look it up, but then you'd yell at me. It's like, play the game, and it's like, I'm looking up knowledge. I'm here. Well, look it up when we're not recording. I'm doing literally nothing. Let me look it up. You humans do impress. Whatever. I would not have thought to see you here. Whatever, Jennifer. Nobody's gonna get that reference. Ew. Heck are you? If the fiend of water, he says right there, in his own domain. It's not like I've already defeated the earth fiend in an <laughs> earthen place and the fire fiend in a freaking volcano, <laughs> but yeah, threaten me with a good time with water. <laughs> You're like a cape or something? Like, man, guys just... Hmm, I don't, get a lot, don't like it. Uh, the Kraken! Kraken, Kraken. Uh, let's see here. Of course, as usual, has more HP than had in the original game. In the original game, had 800 HP, 50 to 100 AP, uh, 42, 45 experience, 5,000 G. I'm not sure what these are. It, I would be willing to bet it can cast Ink, which is dark. Yeah. Lit 2, Lit, and is probably strong against Cake and Fire. Maybe it's weak to Lit. Oh, I think it's weak to Lit. Maybe weak to Lit, strong against Cake and Fire. It can cast Ink, which is dark, and Lit 2. I am going to see if I can figure out how much HP he has. And yeah, threw ink at me. But it missed. Yep, sure is ugly. Okay, okay. Isn't that kind of insultive against the monster? I'm not a caring about the monster's feeling, all right? He either has 1,600 or 1,800 HP. I'm willing to bet 1,800. Blech. Now look at these cool shades I got. Because I noticed that the... What was the first one we thought? Lich? The Lich, yeah. I noticed that the Lich's HP was actually the same as in one of the other ports. Um, so I'm willing to bet the uh, Kraken's HP is also the same as one of the other ports. So in the PS version, had 1600 HP, and the GBA had 1800, and in the PSP version had 1800. I'm willing to bet it's off the PSP version, which is 1800. Probably. Probably. 
Otherwise, the game mostly just uses NES stats. And dead. Cat save her twice and you're just basically a monster. <laughs> it probably Hubert, had... What are you doing? Oh, he's casting a spell. Just striking a cool pose. Like he's some kind of kung fu artist. I saw Raiko do it. Well, just because Raiko does it doesn't mean you can do it. But I want to do it. I want to try it. I can't really make an argument against it, honestly, <laughs> so yeah, go ahead, have fun. He just dives at it, slips, tumbles past it into the wall. So when does Raiko get Utsusemi and become the tank? Never. Never. Alright, we're out of here. And we're never gonna speak to those mermaids again. I mean, we probably could. It'd be nice if their dialogue changed, but like, oh boy, I don't want to go back and find that out. Yeah, I'm not really intent on it. Did we not get healed. Alright. <gasps> we completely lifted over, but Hubert got 300. Heck yeah! You go, Hubert! You break 300. Yay. You be able to survive, like, one mo good moderate attack. <laughs> Here comes the tank buster! Oh, Hubert, you better put up mana wars. <laughs> What's that? <sighs> he did say he liked Nintendo. <laughs> Okay, unless there's any immediate cleanup you want to do, it's probably a good time for us to call it. Nope. I think there is one place I want to go next, but we'll check out that place next time. Because we just beat up the Kraken. Yeah, that is... Three fiends down, one yep. to go. The only the green one, the only the wind crystal left. Could be the wind. Well, yeah, it's the only other... That's how they figured out the first calamity was wind, because all the other calamities <laughs> happened. They're like... Oh, yeah, that makes sense. We're kind of running out of calamities. What's next? <laughs> Death? Got it. <laughs>